Hello. In last session, we have seen how to handle exceptions globally. However, to demonstrate it, we used wrong example. If you remember, we used get by ID method to which we passed the story ID which doesn't exist in database and it reported us 500 internal server exception. Do you think it's correct? Not at all. Actually, internal server error is something unknown happened to your server. It may be network issue or database overload. We should return 500 status code to the client only if an exception is unknown. To understand it much better, we can categorize exceptions broadly in two categories, known and unknown. Known are the errors that we know how to deal with it. And the unknown that we don't know how to deal with it. The examples for known are failed input validation, transient or recoverable software and hardware failures. While examples for unknown exceptions are bugs that are yet to discover, failed assumptions, unrecoverable software or hardware failures. The most important thing is we must catch the known exceptions at the lowest possible level while we have to do exactly opposite for unknown exceptions. We should catch it at the highest possible level. In last session we have done that global exception handling. The exception handler middleware we wrote is at the highest level. All known exception we should report as 4xx. For example, 400 bad request, 401 unauthorized, 403 forbidden or 404 not found. On the other hand, all unknown exceptions should be reported as 5xx. For example, 500 for internal server error, 501 for not implemented or 502 for bad gateway. So the thumb rule is never throw 500 for known errors. So in this session, we will correct our mistake what we have done in last session. In last session, we reported 500 where we should report 404 not found. So let us go in our project and correct it. Go to story repository. The problem with get by ID here is that the way Cosmos client is designed. Cosmos client throws exception if it doesn't found this ID in the database. This is actually different behavior if we will compare it with other clients, for example, SQL client. In case of SQL, if record doesn't exist, it simply returns null. In Cosmos world, it is the topic of debate right now if it should return null or it should throw exception. But for now, to make it identical with other providers from our repository, we would like to return null if it throws exception. Not all exception if it throws not found exception. To achieve that, let us enclose this block of code in try block and let us have catch block which will return null. One thing you should note that we don't want to return null for every exception. For example, if there is some network problem, in that case it should not return null. But if network problem is a case, then we are not handling it here because we are filtering only not found exceptions. Let us fix this by including namespace. So if there is a problem of network, then it will be not handled by this catch block and it will propagate up and will be ultimately handled by our global exception handler, the custom middleware that we wrote in last session. And then it will report 500 error. But in case of not found exception, it will go to this catch block and we will return null to our application layer. This change will introduce one bug in our system. If you will see remove async, here we are getting the record by id first and then we are removing it. So here we should put the condition for null check. If it is not null, then only we want to proceed. Otherwise, we will return null from remove async too. Now as we are returning null, from get by id and remove async if record doesn't exist we need to take care of it in our application layer so let us go to get by id handler and here we need to check if story is null then we should return null 
same change we will need in delete story we simply want to return null to our controller now we need to cache this null in our controller and report appropriate status code to our client to do that let us go to our controller now in controller this is our method for more clarity we can rename it like get by id and it is calling get by id handler and if we will get null then we want to return not found so this will work it will simply return 404 not found status to the client but in last session we learnt about problem details it is a standard way to report errors to the client so same thing we want to use here the one option is that we can create object of problem details here and then we can return it but it will unnecessarily pollute our code second problem is that we need to repeat same code again and again wherever we want to return not found exception so to put it at one place we can create one class errors and in that we can have that code so let us go to seedworks folder and create api errors class in it we may change this in future but for now we will go ahead with this approach let us make this class static and let us create one property record not found which returns not found object result so it is get property and in this property we want to create object of problem details and then we want to enclose that object in not found object result so this is how that code will look like let us import namespace so we are creating object of problem details status is not found then appropriate type appropriate title and details this is much better than 500 error for this scenario and now instead of plain not found we will return problem details enclosed with not found same change we need to do in delete add this null check if it is null then return record not found now let us run the application and check the output let us call get by id method with the id which doesn't exist and it is giving us nice record not found error let us stop here and see you in next session if you find this content useful please like and subscribe if you wish to receive notifications whenever a new episode is published then do not forget to hit the bell icon and click all option in frequency drop down thank you